All right, are you an owner operator and you're thinking about getting into the specialized space or maybe you're already in the specialized space and you're kind of having some issues with getting free or maybe you're an independent free dispatcher and you're helping people find free or you're looking to be an independent free dispatcher and you want to dispatch specialized free. Well, if that's the case, uh, you should definitely watch this video. In this video, I will be going over how to dispatch freight for uh, RGN and step decks and so on and so on. So let's jump straight into the video and hope you like it. Let's go on ahead and um, talk about this trailer, all right? So what I have pulled up is a typical RGN trailer is, you know, it's not a, it's a real basic, basic setup. This is what they call a mechanical neck, right? So right around in this area here is not hydraulic, it's, it's mechanical, okay? I'm not gonna get too, too deep into the woods and the weeds, I'm sorry with this. I'm just gonna give you a basic, basic breakdown on these things. I believe that dispatchers, if you are in a dispatcher and you're, you know, helping on operators or drivers find loads, you should have some type of visual of what's going on when they have to put these loads on these trucks, right? It'll make your job better and it'll make the, dr uh, the driver jobs easier. Um, uh, you know, just all the way around, things will be, you know, way better, all right? And for any own operators that's looking to get into this um, space and they might not even have their trailer yet, you know, this could be an introduction for you as well. But anyway, let's get straight into it. This is a mechanical neck. I'm assuming this is probably, you know, 29 well, something like that. This is a tandem, meaning they only have two wheels, no different than a dry van, typical dry van. All right. Uh, when I say in the well, I'm talking about right up in here, right? Um, you know, right up in this area here at the bottom. So typically it'd be about 29, anywhere from 26 to 29, maybe 30. Uh, right up at the top right here. You know, typically anywhere from 7 to 10 feet, something like that. Same thing with the back, right? Now, these things that's pulled out is exactly like I just said. They're called pull outs or slide outs, right? This is for more advanced uh, or more, you know, larger oversized loads. They have something called outriggers as well but these here are called slide outs. Outriggers are, you know, typically different and I'll pull up a picture as well once I'm done with this. But this is mostly used for agriculture, culture, chill, excuse me, I don't know what's going on, uh, machinery, okay? So, you know, these are slide outs, you know what I mean? Um, right up in here. So anyway, we definitely, you know, that's something. Typically loads pay more when you have to use these slide outs, all right? As everyone know, the RGN disconnects right up here, right up in the front, and you can drive the equipment up on the deck. And then you reconnect the front, and you pick the trailer back up off the ground, and you pull off with your load. This is a basic, basic setup. Um, you know, it can get even more basic than this when they do not have the slide outs or anything like that. Uh, so this is the trailer. Let's see if we can pull up one right here. You know, these are outriggers. They basically, they basically pop out. All right, these are outriggers. When you have outriggers and you have slide outs, you know, loads typically pay more money. All right, so, uh this is a basic basic you know breakdown of the trailer the reason you know this trailer is really really low to the ground as you can see and by the trailer is being really really low to the ground you can put taller loads on this trailer that's the whole point of this trailer because you know you can put taller loads and still be under typically the 13.6 which is most places you go is going to be the standard height legal height all right and then you have more axles in the back on this one you have three 
you can have a, a, a lot of different, you know, a lot more axles on these trailers as well. That can, that's for when you're hauling more weight. All right. So that's the trailer breakdown. Next, we're going to, you know, now, now that we have a visual of what the trailer looks like, you know, if you're dispatching, you know, for you, you know, your dispatchers or you're helping someone, you know, you might be your family member or something, right? But you're dispatching. Uh, now you have an understanding of what the trailer looks like and uh, what you're dealing with, right? So let's move on to the next deal, which we're going to get into the load board, all right? All right. So now we're at the load board, okay? So these are some loads I was looking at um, last week. Today's Sunday. I try to record on Sundays when I have some time. Uh, but these are some loads that I was looking for for my for my drivers. You know my 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 trucks. All right. So let's say I'm gonna go to one of my areas that I like a lot, which is uh, where is it? I'm move this again. So, uh, well, let's start from scratch. So if we're looking for loads for RGN, which is basically a, um, a uh, double drop as well, this is what I do. Everybody's gonna find their own, you know, way of doing it. But I go to, I click on double drop, all right. Then I will go to low boy, low boy over dimensional. And I will go to RGN, which is removable gooseneck and multi axle heavy hauls. All right. And I'm just going to stay with that. Okay. Then these trucks are tandem. So they only have five axles. That's two axles on a trailer, three on a truck. So we're going to go with 55,000 max weight. You can haul more than that. I'm not looking a whole more than that. All right. And then we're going to look at, for the sake of this video, we're just going to look at, you know, next seven days. But, you know, whenever that time comes for you, you know, you'll see when you're looking for a load. And then we will look, let's go to Brunswick, one of my favorite places, Georgia. We're going to go... Um, I go 200 miles out, you know, all right. So let's look at this. So typically what I do, this is what I do. When I first come on here and I look at it, I'm looking at everything in this column, look and see what's old and what's new. So typically these old loads, nine hours plus, nine hours plus, nine hours plus. Not really paying attention to that, but I'm also gonna, I am gonna look at it because it's kind of gonna let me know what the market's looking at, looking like, right? You know, if it's warm, if it's cold, you know, in the middle, something like that. So I'm always gonna make sure my latest update is first. But then I'm gonna come here just to get a brief. When I first come into that load, but I'm gonna get a brief, you know, and look at, you know, what type of loads you got on the board. So right now, which today is Sunday, which is probably the worst day to look at the load board, but we're gonna do it anyway. Cause right now is you know only time i really can make this video um right now these loads are you know cheap loads uh 2700 blah 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 you know they don't really have no big money loads on there right now so let's go when that happens what do i do i click rate per mile so i'm looking for that big high rate per mile nothing on that either probably because it's sunday let's try to Ah, let's change the, let's change the location. How about, uh, to Baltimore, what Baltimore has, let's, let's look at Baltimore, 146 lows, all right, might be better. All right, 7,500, a lot of people look at this load and they'll be like, oh my God, 7,500, yeah, 285 a mile, pass, you know, 4,500, 330 a mile, not bad, let's look at that, not bad, not bad, not bad, all right, well, it's 168 mile dead hit, so I calculate dead hit and my miles all put together, so let's just say... 168, you know, that's uh, 13, 14, and 120, 15, 15, 20. 
let's just say round it off at 1,500, 20 miles. So what that is times four, that's what, 6,000? Let's just go with 6,000. All right. So I would like to get 6,000 for this load. Now this load is going a long ways. So most of the time they, uh, they don't want to pay big money for loads that's going a long ways. But I still throw in my offer. So what I might do is I do have load connect on my extension. So once I, you know, click this little button, bam, email sent, just like that. I don't have to do none of this pre-template and, you know, templating and all that. Um, it's taking a long time. I don't know why, but just like that, the load is sent. So I'll just get into like an email conversation with them just because I just might not want to call them or whatever. But as I'm seeing right now, this load is... Um, Eight foot wide, it's 29 long, eight foot wide, 10 whatever tall. So it seems like it's legal. 44.5, so it's a full load. It's definitely, you know, um, it's a it's a heavy legal load, right? So if they do 6,000, I definitely, you know, it's, it's legal. I definitely would jump on that, right? It's not a bad load, right? And uh, remember, it's 29 long right here now. Remember that. That's in the well, should be in the well, A4 wide. Remember, A6 is the wide you can go legally. And typically, I don't know why this is not showing right here, but let's just go with 10 foot tall. Typically, your standard RGN 5 axle mechanical neck setup is going to be around, around um, you know, 18 inches, anywhere from 17 to 20 inches tall. Let's just go with 18, right? So it's 18 inches, you add that to the... 10 you're right at you know 11 6 something like that you know um but let's just go into some other loads all right well let's go with this one a lot of people they'll look at this and it's like, oh man 4200 dollars for 272 miles well 54,000 pounds we're not scared of that but it's 55 foot long oh okay well let's see 55 be three inches long by 12 wide 11 too high 54,000 pounds must have done this to block up cannot stretch out mm. all right so it sounds like they're they don't want to argin stretch they want a regular argin and they want to i don't know hang off the back look like or something i don't know what's going on with that it's a little tricky so they definitely need to pay for that well right off the back what do i see 12 wide Okay, 12 wide, you're up in PA, uh, it's probably 12 or 12 one, but in my experience, you know, 12, when I say it's probably 12 or 12 one for oversized loads in PA, what I would do, I don't really run that area, but let me look in my book, right? So in PA, you would escort, uh, well, with over 13 wide in PA. Well, that's good. So we don't need that score. But it's super long and it's heavy. And it's wide. You just don't need an escort on it. But that might be a pretty good load. Something that I probably would call them about. Um, let's keep going. So what else we have? Origin extendable. Well, this is for an extendable right here. Let's look at this. When we say RGN extendable, when we look at this RGNE extendable, that means the RGN is going to extend out longer. It extends, all right? So it gets longer than a typical normal RGN. You got to pay for that, all right? So 118 miles deadhead plus 350. Let's just go with, you know, 400, 460, all right? 460 miles, you know, it's 55 long, 10, 10 and a half wide. So it is oversized and width, 10 height, 37,000 pounds is not that heavy at all. You are up in the mountains up there in, in, in PA. You know, you got a peep game on that too now. Uh, might run into a lot of back roads. You definitely back roads in the south and back roads up in the mountains. Is to, it's two totally different animals. But look like it me. Might be a decent load for an extendable. So let's look at some regular loads. Let's look at something really good. Okay. Let's 
let's get a good one. Let's get a good one. This don't look bad. Let's see what this is. 22,000 pounds. Dump truck legal knee chains buying this PP2 loads. Don't look bad. How many miles? 212 miles, 192 miles dead here. It's a lot of dead here, but if anybody that's closer, this is actually a good load. You know, uh, I would definitely take that load. Even if I had to dead hit all the way back. Cool. You know, $2,000 a day. You know, half of the day you're empty. That's pretty good. Let's look at something else. Let's look at another one that's. You know, do, 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 do. what is this? Virginia to Vermont, 20 foot long, 55,000 pounds, nine foot wide. So it is oversized, 11 high. Delivers Tuesday by end of day. Look like a decent load. It's going way up to Vermont. Probably not going to get anything up out of there. Uh, let's keep going. What else we got? I'm more interested in something like this going to North Carolina, going back down south. Looks decent. But let me show you the lows to stay away from. Once you go under this, like this price per mile right here, 373. <sighs> Look, unless you already made a banging week and you just got to do what you got to do or you got to get you home, or you need to, I don't know. Just try to stay away from these lows, but. You know, $2,000 to come from up north to come back down south. It's not bad. It's decent. 9-11 wide. 11-5 mm, high. I definitely would ask them at least for 500 more bucks. But, hey, you know, anything under that, stay away from all this. You know, unless you just, this might be a legal load. 8-6 wide, 11 -6. Yeah, see? It's a legal load, full legal origin, twig and emoto, no tarp. It's not bad. You know, maybe you gotta get home for the weekend, something like that. I might take something like this, just because, you know, my driver's there in Louisiana, so I might take this, Baltimore, Louisiana, right? Um, That's not bad. Let's look at the, you know, so, 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 29 long, A6 wide, 11, six high, 40,000 pounds. So we've been looking at legal loads and, over with loads. All right, let's look at step decks. Let's look at step decks. Okay. Let's look at step decks. So when I'm looking for step deck loads, I'm only going to click on step decks or, or, well, yeah, I'm only going to click on step decks and step deck over dimensional loads. All right. As you can see, they got way more loads, right? And what do I do? What I do is I also put in a rate because I don't want to see. Let's, let me let me let me show you what I mean. I don't want to see loads, all these eight fifty and five hundred and all that. I don't want to see that. So what do I do? I go in here and I put a minimum rate. I might put in fifteen hundred bucks. You know, for a minimum. All right, so now we got this minimum rate, okay? Then, once again, y'all already know I'll come in here and look at last update, and I'll kind of, you know, track it from there. But let's go with rate per mile, of course. That's what I like the most. But, this is, you know, let's see. This might be a good, good load. No tarp, no headboard. Stops in Lexington, Virginia, Culpeper, Virginia, Marshall, Virginia. Uh, too many stops. I, I don't even... I, don't need to look at that. Let's go to the next one. Flatbed or step deck. FSD means flatbed or step deck. 40 long, 10 wide, 7 high. 10 wide, flatbed or step deck, no tarp. Load OD, no on width. Okay. Um, it's 10 wide. It's going 150 miles, 1600 bucks. You can go on a flatbed or step deck. Not too bad. Now, also what I do, I click this button and what it'll do, it'll swap it. It'll line me up. Now I have step, de step decks coming first instead of 
flatbed or step decks. Right? I don't know why truck stop is like this. And they don't only show step decks. If any of y'all know how to make it only show step decks and nothing else, then please comment on the video and let me know. But as of right now, I don't know how to do it. So this is the best way that I do it. All right. So step deck RG pops up first. Cheap, 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 cheap. Whole screen that I'm looking at is cheap right now. So let's just keep scrolling, right? I, I'm not interested in none of this. Now I might be interested in this. Four day long, eight wide, 10 high. Okay, payment by delivery, text, da da da. Typically, when you kind of see a bunch going on in the comment, I mean, the, in the in the notes saying, we'll quick pay you, we'll pay you through Zelle, through Cash App, payment, blah, 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 blah. That means their credit is probably bad. So if I was to go over, you know, another screen and check their credit, they might not have good credit. Not necessarily like they don't pay their bills, but could be just because they're a new broker, you know? Uh, but let's just keep going. So that doesn't look like a bad load. And typically when their credit is not good, they will pay more money because they need you to take the load or they're scammed. So be careful, you know, well, let's just keep going. So none of this is good. None of this is good. I don't, I wouldn't want none of this. This here looks decent. Step deck, PA to Louisville, Ohio. Let's look at it. Big supply box, junk box will require wide permit. How wide? 10 wide, 40 long, 10 high. Not bad, 40,000 pounds. I would take this. I would take this, yes. I would definitely take that and be gone with it. And then if I have anything on my top deck, I would try to see if I can get a partial going that way too. You know, I'm trying to make that paper, that cash flow. Let's look at this, this ain't, you know, too bad. 321 a mile, but it's coming from up north, coming back down to the south. It's going to a decent spot, which is Hazelhurst, Georgia, which has a lot of freight coming out of there for deck, a lot of deck freight. And also, you're not too far from uh, Savannah and Brunswick and all that. All right, you're probably about an hour, hour and a half out. So it says picking Chesapeake, Virginia, 810 wide. That ain't nothing when it comes to wide. It's 46,000 pounds, a little heavy, but it ain't bad. Let's keep going. 347 a mile. Um, Step deck, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Yeah, it's all right. Going to Detroit area. That ain't bad. Probably, you know, it's a lot of coils and metal over there. Let's look at this. Maryland to Westbrook, Maine. They need to pay more than that on that. Going way up there. They pay about five, six dollars a mile on that. Twig, Emoto, Will Loader, and Mini Excavator. Yeah, and they trying to, yeah. You need to pay more money on that. For me, anyway. Um, but you get the gist of it, you know, um, I'm not going to, in this particular video, I'm going I'm to, what I'm going to try to do y'all is make like a series or something in this particular video. I'm not going to go too deep in this. I'm probably just going to cut it right here. Um, not, in the next video, what I would do is I will get into more of the, uh, if you got a step deck or flatbed, 53 foot, how do you run partials? You know, all these type of things. But for the most part, I just gave you a basic rundown on how you deal with RGN freight, step deck freight, and what type of loads you're looking for and what type of loads to stay away from. Uh, please don't haul this cheap freight. It affects all of us. It's not just you. You will go out of business if you keep hauling cheap freight. One day it will happen. Try not to do that. I know you got to do what you got to do to make your money and pay the bills. But at the same time, understand that you will not survive running cheap freight. So do not do it. If you need any help with anything, you can reach out to me. All you have to do is text 985. If you need help with anything, all you have to do is text 985-326-1699. I do help freight dispatchers. I do help owner operators and I do help people that's looking to be an owner operator. Text me, let me know what you're looking for. Maybe I can help you, maybe I can. Maybe I can refer you to somebody else or maybe not. Well, anyway, until the next video, see you soon, peace.